Guys, I have a confession. I don't know if I could do this anymore. This diet has me going crazy. I think I need a cheat day. Somebody say cheat day? <laughs> hey guys, I don't know if you remember, this is Tom from Lip Smacking Foodie Tours and today, he's taking us on another foodie tour. It's awesome to have you again. Today, we're here at Virgin Hotels. It is one of the newest resorts here in Las Vegas. They opened just about 11 months ago and they are crushing it with their restaurants. We are gonna visit four of the premier restaurants in the city, all located right here in Virgin Hotels. Are you hungry? Yes, I want a cheat day already. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. First restaurant today, Olives by Todd English. The things that they cook here are all based on cities where uh, olive trees grow and they take regional recipes and they make them their own. Welcome to Olive Zorm. <laughs> you look excited. I am, this uh, is beautiful. Let's start with your cocktail. So this is their mixed berry sour. We take premium vodka. This particular one has been infused with fresh strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and fresh vanilla bean. They marry all that together with a little bit of sweetness, giving you a nice, light, easy to drink cocktail, but this will creep up on you, so be careful. Wow, like that's it? strong. It's no, but good. <laughs> it's got a little hit to it. Now, Tom, you know bread is my favorite. Here at Olives, you're getting some of the very best. This house-made focaccia is cooked fresh to order and brought out to every single table, and Olives is known for the tapenades on the side. You have both black, and green olives that have been formed in these beautiful house-made tapenades with a beautiful ricotta spread on the bottom with extra virgin olive oil. I don't know how you expect me not to eat this whole thing. These are, this is so good. This I mean, is really warm, very soft, and I personally love olives. So first up, you absolutely have to have their tuna tartare. So this beautiful tuna is uncooked, it has been lightly cubed, and then it's piled high, and it's served with fresh cucumber, crispy rock shrimp, and there is this beautiful sesame dressing over top. It gives you all the levels. You get crunch from the shrimp, a little sweetness from the sauce, and the tuna itself gives you this beautiful, briny ocean flavor. I really do love how there's something uncooked and then something fried on top of it. Light spice. Yeah. Very light. <laughs> I love that fresh seafood flavor that's, you know, you bite right in, and then you got the shrimp that kind of balances it out. And if it's your first time enjoying something like tuna tartare, it's an awesome way to experience it because that shrimp kind of, it takes the scary out of it, yeah. you know? And I like that. This is tortelli. This beautiful pasta is handmade. You got a little fresh shaved Parmesan cheese and then inside you have butternut squash. On top, you've done a beautiful house-made uh, brown butter sauce, which will give you a lovely flavor, little caramelization, and a little bit of sweetness on the top. That is such a sweet pasta. I don't know if I've ever had sweet pasta, but yeah, this is like perfectly sweet. I love how much butter. It has in there, and I feel like over time I've really gone to appreciate like these really thin flat pastas. You are right though; this does taste a little bit kind of like kind of like autumn. Tom, oh my god! I wish that Chef Todd could bring this out for you himself because it's one of his most famous dishes, and a lot of folks have never experienced carpaccio, which is thinly sliced, uncooked beef. There are three separate sauces on top, so you have a beautiful garlic aioli, a scallion cream and a aged balsamic all drizzled over top. You have balsamic roasted onions on the side. You can see plenty of fresh shaved Parmesan Reggiano. And this mound on the middle covers up a gorgonzola polenta. So you've got the cold on top, the warm on the bottom. So you've got texture and you've got two different levels of heat. A little cold, a little hot. So as you bite into it, it's absolutely delicious. You know what's funny? Yes, I do remember now that Todd English or like olives over at the Bellagio was super known for this. People would like come in just for this. Wow, that garlic aioli just like screams in my face. It's so soft. I agree with it's that. It's immensely soft. Everything on this dish is melt meant to melt in your mouth the moment you eat it. Mm -hmm. um, it all just kind of comes together as one beautiful dish. Now I just have to let you guys know, I have Lydia on the other side of this camera right now. Lydia, you need to try this right now. This is like outside my comfort zone for sure, but... Whoa. That's all you need to say, whoa. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, I was scared to try this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was scared of the beef, the uncooked beef, but it is so incredibly good. The aioli that you mentioned is insanely good. The cheese is delicious. Yeah, I would eat this. Good. I would 100% eat this again. This is what I was very excited for. This is like Thanksgiving dinner in my mouth. Ooh. 
I like that. Mm. I can see the autumn leaves falling now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and eat a little bit more of this and then we're gonna go to spot number two. Welcome to One Steakhouse. And this is a place that the who's who in Vegas have been really finding out about and coming to. We are starting with an absolutely incredible but slightly classic cocktail. It's their variation on a Paloma. It's got fever tree, grapefruit soda, Casamigos, Blanco tequila. It's a little bit of fresh squeezed lime and grapefruit to finish. Ooh. I feel like the grapefruit definitely like just pops out at you right away. I don't taste the tequila. That's so dangerous. Very good, reminds me of summer. We're starting off with their burrata. This has been dressed with an aged balsamic and fresh crushed almonds. On the bottom is an arugula based pesto and it's tomatoes are actually cherry or grape tomatoes that are heirloom style. Holy cow, that is super amazing. Yeah, definitely the, the little glaze on the top. I think that's my favorite like pesto I've ever had in my life. It's like so smooth, just never tried anything like it. Yeah, definitely smooth is a word. A company next to that, you got their crispy tiger shrimp. They're small shrimp, so you get a lot of breading for every single bite, and they've got a nice little snap when you bite into them. There's a little crispy basil to finish, and we have a couple dipping sauces for you. They're cherry, pepper, aioli, and a little bit of sweet chili sauce on the side. You'll get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice, but nothing that's gonna, you know, really kick. Very mild spice. I love how creamy it is. I almost had a little bit of like zestiness from it. And I know this is shrimp. In my head, it's like calmer. We have this awesome hanger steak in front of you. We've got this gorgeous peppercorn sauce that has been poured over top with a little bit of their house-made steak frites that are hand cut and fried in-house. In addition to that, this is their one steakhouse seasoning. It's their proprietary steakhouse seasoning. In the center is their one steakhouse sauce. And the final one is a little bit of in-house smoked sea salt. Feel free to use that, drizzle onto the steak, and enjoy. Wow. That steak is actually really tender. I actually like that little sprinkle of the peppercorn. It kind of gave it a little bit of a kick. And then the peppercorn sauce is actually like very rich too. And I love that because you do have a steakhouse as part of your tour, you're gonna wanna have steak at a steakhouse. Of course. I would be really mad if we didn't have steak right now. And now we're gonna finish with chicken. some roasted chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That is so good. I just want to put this pesto on everything I eat. And the burrata too. Off to spot number three. So right behind us is Night Market by Chef Chris Yen Bang Room. Uh, he grew up in LA. He comes from a Thai family, so we'll be enjoying some Thai food. This is your orange wine. So I mentioned out front that they feature natural and biodynamic wines. It's so crazy because yes, it does taste just like wine, but yeah, it does have like an orange bam to it. It's got a little more, yeah, I mean, a bam is a pretty good bam. word to describe <laughs> it. It just got a little bit extra. First, we're gonna start with a pea keha wings. So they like to call these party wings or three flavor wings. Those three flavors are spicy, savory, and sweet. All together in that beautiful house crafted sauce. Very mild yeah? spice actually. Very nice. For bean Thai food. I'm a very big fan of the sauce actually. Awesome. So really quick, one of the reasons that I brought Lydia was because we are here at this Thai restaurant. Lydia is actually from Thailand. Well, she grew up there. Kind of. I moved there when I was eight years old and I lived there until I was 17. I miss it a lot. And actually, the number one thing I miss about Thailand, besides my friends, sorry guys, is the food. <laughs> I miss Thai food a lot. So I'm very excited to try this. Chicken is super tender. I would absolutely destroy a plate of these and watch <laughs> the March Madness. Delicious. Right over here, you got a beautiful beef satay. Hand cut beef served with a beautiful peanut and curry sauce on the top. You wanna go ahead and dip that right on the side. Oh my God, so many spices on the steak. And that's a very potent peanut sauce. Very mildly spicy again too. That needs to go on my PB&Js from now on. <laughs> I get that. I was ready to critique the peanut sauce yeah. because I didn't think it would measure up to what I've had in Thailand, and it does. Isn't this it? is really good. Awesome. Super potent. Mm. Next to that, you got the original 
crispy rice salad. This is the dish I was talking about with the texture. You get the sour pork, the crispiness, there's a little peanuts in there, fresh onion, cilantro. All of these different flavors are gonna give you a little citrus, a little bit of crunch. It really comes together very nicely. Oh, I thought that was gonna be hot. A lot of people do, and it may hit you a little on the back end, but up front, not so much. There are some chilies in there. Oh but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Very crunchy. The texture kind of reminds me a little bit of, yes, in between rice and in between a rice crispy. You got like it. Like a little bit in the middle, like a little bit of a savory, spicy rice crispy. <laughs> <laughs> spicy though, hold on. I'm ready. I cannot use a fork to eat this because you can't do that in Thailand. Oh. You don't eat with a fork. So in Thailand, what I would do is I would take the spoon and I would push the food onto it with the fork, but you can't eat with a fork in Thailand. Yum. The flavors in this are so good. Nice. So authentic. I love the crunchiness of this too, just like you said. Right. The texture is incredible. And the one I could not wait for. So this is their chicken pad thai. Done with a little bit of crispy rice noodles that have been wok fried, roasted chicken, as well as fresh bean sprouts, which will give you that added level of texture. Mm -hmm. Same thing, it has like a very slight spice in it too. Mm -hmm. I love how thin the noodles are. I got you, I'll get it ready for you. No fork. Oh, 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 we're ready. Here we go. Give me some peanuts. Ooh, there you go, okay. <laughs> Time for the pad thai, that's a big one. Yet again a winner, that is really good. It's yet again very flavorful. I need a little bit of peanuts in it. More peanuts? <laughs> okay. I need a little bit of peanuts. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is good. Awesome. Mom, this might rival your homemade pad thai. This is really good. Mom, don't listen to what she just said. <laughs> Five stars across the board. Now we need to go to spot number four. So our last restaurant today, Norma, is Cassie Beach House. And this place is pretty special. It's right next to the pool, which means they've kind of embodied this coastal dining atmosphere. It's relaxed and lively. We're starting off with their fried mozzarella, a high-end house-made mozzarella that's been lightly crusted with panko breadcrumbs on the outside and freshly dusted with Parmesan cheese on top. Next to that is a chilled pomodoro sauce. It's a really robust sauce. It's thin. So unlike a traditional marinara that has big pieces of tomato, this just makes an awesome dipping sauce for whatever you put into it. That's a lot of cheese. Uh, I That's mean, so much cheese right there. <laughs> yeah, just tasting these, there's definitely nothing frozen about them. Not a, you can even tell by the breading. The breading tastes very fresh as well. The next up, we got the Wagyu meatballs. So this beautiful Wagyu beef has a nice marbleization. You got a little bread and caper salad. I feel like the meat right here is a little bit more like ground up together. It's like finely ground. That bread and caper salad gives you some extra texture. And you get a little saltiness from those capers. So we're finishing off with a pasta. This is their pasta alla vodka. Pasta itself is called Nestri, which is a house-made pasta. It's kind of a cross between shells and rigatoni. It's got little cavities inside, so it catches all the sauce. So every bite you take is filled with that amazing, incredible flavor. It's a very good vodka sauce. It's like light, not too heavy. I sense pepper. There's, it's interesting you say that. There's Calibrian chilies in there. I'm giving you a little heat on the back end, but certainly nothing too hot. So at first they brought us a steak knife. I was like, oh cool, we're getting steak. But no, we got dessert instead. So this is called the Big Stash. This house made ice cream sandwich has ice cream infused cake on the top and the bottom. It has been topped with fresh pistachios and in the middle is a solid block of their house made from scratch pistachio ice cream. Wow, there really is a lot of ice cream in there. It's like ice cream, some cake, a lot of ice cream, some cake, more ice cream, chocolate. No, whoa, I was wrong. This is not ice cream, that's marshmallow, right? You got it, a little marshmallow fluff. I'm having so many childhood memories flashback right now. <laughs> we have like that soft gooey marshmallow in the middle. Again, barely any cake, yummy. Ice cream, nuts in it, chocolate all over the place. This is a good dessert. It's a good one. <laughs> that marshmallow fluff makes us. This was the first time on the tour that I was really, really anxious for my turn. I was ready to rip it right out of her hand. I'm not even joking. This is so good. You're just kind of having a moment, huh? <laughs> that, that's luckily, a, that's luckily okay. there's two halves. No fighting. 
That was the best cheat meal ever. I'm glad to hear it. Honestly, like from all the tours that we've done together, I think this one here, the one at the Virgin, is pretty up there, honestly. Are you ready for restaurant number five? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys will come out and check out this tour. Please feel free to reach out to us at lipsmackingfoodietours.com. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And always like, comment, and subscribe to my friend over there. Um, it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for coming out. That's what he says, so make sure you check them out. And also for this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what of all these dishes you thought was look amazing. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for <laughs> checking us out. Peace. Bye. Say, need a cheat day? <laughs> Happy to help. Okay, and then, wait, we didn't even plan the rest. <laughs> Garlic, a holy thing. Each. They give you eat every butt that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start from the beginning? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't feature those drinks, and I promise you, there's no. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Don't get me scratching my ear. Don't put that in the video. Hold on one second. All right. <laughs> Blueberries. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of a lime. Lemon, I'm sorry. Lemon on here. <laughs> Come on, sake today. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is their pista. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it in? <laughs> Come on. Stay. Stay. Yum. That is so delicious. We'll box this up for Lydia to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is delicious. Let me get the serious knife for this. <laughs> and if you can't tell, me and Lydia wore the exact same outfit. <laughs> Next up, haircut. Yes, gray hair for Lydia. <laughs> There's no delicate way We're to just eat gonna wings. Go Let's into go. It. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> oh dang, this thing's hard. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> Alright, Lydia, your turn. <laughs> Don't bite my finger. <laughs> so good. Linda is on it. 